Now have but one choice. We must face the long dark of Moria. Fuck, I can't remember seeing this in the theater and being like, oh shit, you know, Moria, the dark, the... They trapped you now. Oh, Moria's just got, like, there's nothing like it. Like, being trapped in there, having to go through it. Oh, it's so spooky They do, the build-up is so great, because we know what's happened here, and then they do all the, the sounds that set off all the people coming, and then we find out that all of them scatter because something bigger is coming, the thing that was talked yeah. about by Saruman yeah. earlier. It's like, oh. There are older and fouler things than orcs in the deep places of the world. And I mean, you know, it's a simple thing as well. They can't go back. They have to go forward. There is yeah. no retreat. This is probably a model. Yeah, this is a model. Yeah. Oh, it looks, oh, it looks so good. good. Rad. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call escapism. Captured perfectly. Yep. Oh, yeah. The wealth of Moria was not in gold or jewels, but... It's that little quality where when you're in the cinema and you're super into this, you forget for a second you're a person that's come to watch a film. Well, Robert's not here, so I'll use this word. It's established a verisimilitude. And since he's not here, I'll say it. You felt it. For the first time in cinema, <laughs> we believed. We believed. I mean, it's, it's almost like this thing is strictly for nerd circles, but you kind of, that's kind of the point, right? You, for a second, you get it so into it that it is indistinguishable from real, and then the credits the hit, and you're like, right, back real, out. The world yeah. is real, you accept it as what it is, rather than people on a set, you know, yeah. dressed up in, in fancy costumes. We must move on. The scale of Moria as they were showing it then, the camera pan around. I remember distinctly when I first saw that as being like, good god, the dwarves would have had to have worked for so long. So many man hours to make something so incredible. Well, I sure love digging. They have taken the bridge. And the second hall. Oh yeah, this is nice and ominous as well. That guy was right until the end. Committed. You cannot get out. They are coming. No, oh, he turned <laughs> so quickly like I didn't... It wasn't... Absolutely love this scene, the action of it. You get to yep. see everybody doing their crazy shit. We were just and then you're there. Like, oh shit, that's a place where we were, we were there. And also makes you think, oh, it's a good thing they didn't go down that way. Oh, look at all these signals for like the buildup is fucking perfect. Just and this cat like reflexes. <laughs> Dude, and, and it's just looking at them, and we don't see them until they bust through the door. It's f fucking perfect. In terms of a big Ow. action scene, Ow. it's not it's since the prologue that we've had. It. It's just like, here he comes, boys. Yes. <laughs> and the music stops once the fighting, like, you know, kicks off yep. there. Fuck him oh, up. Biogenic sounds. <laughs> Why are you guys doing this when you should just be like jumping off each other's swords and slashing everything? Oh, doing without... stupid yeah, CG easel, bullshit, yeah. yeah. Look at that. I love the fucking fountain as well. Yeah. <laughs> Evolves. I mean, here is great. Oh, I love it. The whole thing is precision. Finesse, yep. You know, people always cite the cave troll as looking really outdated, and I just... I think... So, no, the thing about it is, like, he's low detail and res, right, compared to, like, now, but I feel like they've integrated him about as well as they can. He looks pretty good. Yeah. He looks like he's in this you environment. You always buy him. Yeah, you buy him 100%. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone treats him as super real, like the way that he hides from him. I they think it looks great. I really, I like his creature design as well. Like, yeah. it doesn't... It's not I don't too know. much. It's no. not too much. Like, it, it, it looks like a creature really... I could believe. I could yeah, believe it's, that it's this guy really... lives underground. Yeah. yeah, it's really blunt. Like, you can see he's got this, like, big bony, like, plate of a forehead. <laughs> 
if you look at the Hello. special features, they go into like how they made the 3D model and they like paid attention to like how his fingernails are supposed to look because he's yeah. supposed to burrow oh. and shit. But I look at the CGI for this and I don't see I don't see it as very dated. Unlike say the first Jurassic Park where that Brachiosaurus scene looks extremely dated now. <laughs> I don't have a problem much, even with the Brachiosaurus. Comparatively. In fact, Jurassic Park... <laughs> like Lord of the Rings, are the, the select group of films that got to benefit from this era. <laughs> the wonderful marriage of CG and practical. Yep. To the bridge of Cusset. And you guys see the Steven voiceover clip where when uh, Galadriel's giving out her gifts? Yes. In, in this movie, it's all pieces <laughs> it's so of the ice fucking troll. Funny, yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, this shit. I remember being like, they're so gonna die. This, no, what are they gonna do? <laughs> well, they, they run, run the and then run, run again. Yeah. Keep running. I just. Oh, I love oh, that shit. too. Oh, oh. <laughs> Seriously, this would be an example of how do you write them out of this, and by God, do they do a job of writing them out of it. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Goblins everywhere. I, I love that one, the close-up shot that's going to come where you can see, like, the fucking pupils on the goblin contract. Yeah. 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 It, 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 that just ice. sticks with me. Yeah. <laughs> That yeah, one. He's got the narrow slits of eyes, yeah. Yeah. Just like caddish eyes. Lead them on, Aragorn. The bridge is near. The fact that work. this whole scene is just written on the script and they ran across the bridge. It is better than most things. Do as I say. Swords are no more use here. What a lie, too. My sword. Yeah, he's gonna fuck him up with his magic sword. <laughs> You just this improv good, yeah. something that's better than like most shows now. Uh, such striking. Yeah. Visual. Well, this part's tense as fuck. It's relatively simple. Like there's a gap that they have to get across, and they yep. get, they're under fire. Over the bridge. Fire! Here he comes. <laughs> oh. oh, I love yeah. that. It's so fucking good. The roar is such a specific one that matches him entirely. Now, the Balrog looks fucking glorious in every shot except maybe one. It's this one. Yeah, not so great. It don't look very good. But that's okay. It's like it scores, you know, mid, while everything else scores top-notch. Yeah. You cannot pass! The smoke and the fire makes this thing look fucking glorious. When it, like, raises its arms and the fire, like, kind of mm -hmm. emanates out from it, it's, like, one of the best fucking shots ever. Get out! Oh! God, that was... That was that's, that's what I mean. It's, it will never age. Never gonna age. It's years old. It's better CG than you'll catch Shit. in the. L Look at it. You shall not pass! I don't know how they did it. <laughs> it looks I'm watching, so fucking I'm watching good. the 4K version and it looks yeah. fucking sweet. It looks so good. When I first saw it in 4K, I was kind of like. It felt like watching it for the first time again in a lot of ways. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love God. that they use like a lightning strike sound effect when he cracks that whip. Where's Frodo? Arguably the best part of the movie coming. Mm. Uh, maybe, yeah. I know why you seek solitude. You suffer. I see it day by day. There's a few that could be argued for, for sure. Well, no, I'm, I'm just saying, I this scene is fantastic. It's, it might be. I know what you would say. It would seem like wisdom, but for the warning in my heart. There's literally not a second of this movie. A se no, there is one second of this movie. It's one second. <laughs> <Elrond. laughs> it, it's, it's that fucking Elrond shot. It's the only part of the movie that I don't like. The other three and a half hours I love. Warning. Against what? 
You're all afraid, Frodo. Look, I'm just humbly gathering some firewood. That's all I'm doing. To let that fear drive us to destroy what hope we have. Don't you see that it's madness? I love how fucking natural this looks. You wouldn't guess that this is forced perspective at all. I ask only for the strength to defend my people. If you would but lend me the ring. No. Standing in front of a giant broken statue head too. I mean, just... Uh. It, that's one of those things where it's like, what's that? You don't need to know what it is for anything to make sense. It's just like, here's a cool thing. Why do you recoil? I am no thief. You are not yourself. Yeah, like this whole area is littered with like decaying statues and ruins and stuff. It's all part of like the Kingdom of Gondor, I guess, that's just shrunk over the years. Yeah. It's great. It just gives you little bits of world building. The Horn of Gondor. The horn. Uh, on this one, yeah. Drawing your Gondor allies to you, but drawing the enemies to him as well. Oh, this shot is brilliant. What a great pan and shot. Oh, it gives you a huge of scope of the battlefield, right? makes it feel yeah, completely yeah. alive. Gives you a good logistic of where everyone is. Yep. I, I like how yeah. like not smooth it looks too. Like Uh oh. Yeah, sorry people listening to this. We're just gonna just enjoy the scene for now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna be watching the movie. It just sort of happens. Give him some medicine, boys! <laughs> Did the special oh, effects again just on these fuckers like yeah, yeah. Oh, they don't all look the same is not great their dental care is pretty bad or is the it pretty good <laughs> maybe they just couldn't negotiate yeah what we would don't it be know. without that probably uh, yeah. pretty good considering they how they were made don't brush their teeth. the fact that all of their teeth are still there that's pretty impressive it's I suppose. Okay. Yeah. yeah not bad for a mockery of life they have notably black blood when you kill these things and so apparently when they were filming you had to like take a whole mouthful of uh, a licorice mouthwash thing to make sure all the inside Ugh. of their mouth is black as well. See, that would, that would put licorice me Licorice is a really delicious and, and wonderful tasting Fucking hate uh, that thing, stuff. so... That, that's why I won't drink Sambuca. It's like one of the few things I won't consume, because it's just... What if you're particularly good. desperate, though? I mean, well... <laughs> similar to terms of drinking stuff. Apparently there was something called golem juice that Andy Serkis <laughs> drank. Golem it was like, juice? Yeah, it was like honey, lemon, and ginger so that they, you know, it would be better for his throat doing that fucking voice. Yeah, time. doing that voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just like the idea that he's like, gotta be my training. golem juice. <laughs> Man flesh. I've seen YouTubers whose voices could be improved by regularly consuming golem juice. <laughs> my lords, out on we shall rule. Earth. What is it called when you have a miniature that's a huge? Bigature. That Isn't was the bigature big. for the tower like it was 27 meters tall or some ridiculous fucking thing? I think it was 10 or 15 feet tall, so like it's big, but not as big as the real one would be. Really? A bigature. <laughs> Why can't you be on the horse too? Yeah, loser. Start running. I have to fight off the army myself. <laughs> Why burn the house? You can live in it. It could be your house now. It's war rags. We're fucking them up. A lot of corpses. It's like your average Scottish wedding there. Find the king's son! As far as I'm aware, by the way, all the horses are polystyrene. They're like all the dead ones. Obviously. I thought you meant the ones they were riding about on. It's like, damn, that's <laughs> it impressive. Was, it's like, that's just the power of special effects, my friend. What do you use when you want a horse? It's like, ah, we tape a bunch of cats together <laughs> normally. Cats, yeah. Name. The fact they've got like different contacts. I enjoy the diversity of works in the Lord mm. of the Rings series. Yeah. Diversity is their strength, right? That is their strength. Then. It wasn't it strong really enough. Is. Ultimately, they lost. But I was it, gonna say they fucking a... lost. Diversity sucks. By the way, there's no uh, How does he do it? no filters on Treebeard. It's just uh, John Rhys Davies doing the lowest pitch he can. Um, really? Whose side are you on? I am on nobody's side. The best part is apparently it's through a wooden microphone, a uh, wooden megaphone. Sorry. That's really cool. I figured that it would have been some kind of effect to get that yeah because there, there seems to be like between words there's like this kind of booming echo that you get i, I would have thought just... they'd have to be something digital but apparently not the wooden megaphone thing i've never heard of that before never heard of a hobbit before uh jonathan reese davis and then you see him in indiana jones 5 and you just think uh, why why did you do why, this movie why did you remind us <laughs> 
Precious. Gollum definitely needs some volumizing shampoo there. I feel like there's more you could do with that hair. Oh, man. It's not silky smooth. <laughs> you know, like it would take a million years to fucking render all their CG shit, especially back then. Well, I mean, it does mm, nowadays because yeah. it's like all kinds of uh, higher fidelity and stuff. But apparently the way it would work, right, like a lot of the time is they would start the render, go to sleep in the morning, see what, it, what they've got. Apparently it glitched up one time with Gollum and it made all of his hairs stand on end. So we just... <laughs> I was like, oh god, we gotta see that, right? Like, see I that. need that picture. If we should die, they look so effing good. It do. It really yep. do. Rusty calls. Rusty nerves. It's things like this and like, like Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean, where we point to and say, like, how was CGI from twenty years ago, like? better somehow well, than what we have today once again supports that whole thing of like oh my god the potential the dreams the the reality the technology this is all so great and then it's like if we could just tell ourselves from 20 years ago oh it doesn't what, get so, better you're gonna you're <laughs> gonna actually get it used for like she hawk twerking yeah. not just that but the fact that it's like oh imagine how great it'll be in the future it's like yeah we got avatar i don't remember it at all <laughs> no <laughs> nobody does no, it made yeah. it made like two billion dollars and nobody remembers anything it's funny when i see people movies. be like you say that but i remember it's like no you don't